Yes then guys, how are we all doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel. I am back with another headliner play of you and in this one we're taking a look at somewhat of a FIFA legend. This man has had so many insane special cards over the years. But what was it, FIFA 20 when shapeshifters were a thing? This man's center mid card was top tier and I love him. He always finds his way into my team at some stage each FIFA and 140k coins will pick you up Marcus Acuna's most recent special card in FIFA 22, a headliner. 88 overall, so plus two I believe from his recent inform. High, high work rates, left footed, four star skills, three star weak foot, and of course he is a left back. So this man has got a plus seven pace upgrade, I'm pretty certain, which is huge because before this, his highest rated pace card, the highest pace on his card was 79, I believe, on his 86 team of the week. So a nice little juicy pace increase, and same with every single card this man gets. He's just not suited as a left back, lads. This man as a CDM, a box to box center mid, is sensational. That tends to be where a lot of people play him. If it's off the bench as a super sub, or you start him as a left back and change it around in game. I may it to do that to be fair. Almost play him as a box to box center mid or even an out and out CDM. Because defensively, he's incredibly solid. Fantastic 80s, high 80s to 90s on the old defending stats. 75 stamina, that helps with the box to box, the strength, progression, happy days, dribbling, he's always pretty, uh, he's quite small but quite stocky, but does feel quite agile in game, I'm pretty certain it's the balance, ball control and dribbling that help that. Passing stats, no issues at all, and going forward, he might do something, you know, 69 finishing is not incredible, but the shot power and long shots may carry that stat a little bit. So the car looks really, really solid, guys. Player traits, we've got flair outside the foot shot and one CPU AI trait. So I am blown away by the state of this man's card. For 140k, cheapest chips, is he that cheap because of the pace? Is he going to keep dropping in price? We'll check his uh, price again at the end of the gameplay. But let's go meet the boys I'm going to use him with. The boys, the boys, the boys. Yes, now, lads. These are the boys that I'm going to be using in this little play review. We've got Benzie Boy for Kia, Kapue, Awa. We are using a Campos just to get a hyperlink into Akuna, just to not have to faff about with chemistry. We've got Upa Meccano, Rio Ferdinand, Martinez, Semedo, and our boy, the star boy, Bakayo Saka. So chem style for Akuna, it's a no-brainer. There's only one answer to this, lads no matter where you're going to play him it is a shadow chuck a shadow on this man max out the pace and the defending stats and he is going to be a well-rounded unit an absolute tank in the middle of the pitch or at left back i'm going to tell you what we're going to do two games of the man today we're going to hop into div one i'm almost on my way to elite division that is my goal before thursday let's try one at left back and one at cdm we're going to do left back first lads if you want to skip through this if you only care about how he plays a cdm skim through to the next game and we'll play him as a box to box center mid slash cdm in game number two but let's do this so game number one, what are we up against? I mean, that's a pretty difficult start, isn't it? The state of that team. Inform Mbappe, inform Neymar, and a ton of mad-looking icons. Tell you what, we're going to truly test out his defensive side in this one, aren't we, lads? Yes. A little bit unlucky not to come away with the ball, but a strong first tackle. And he looks quick. He's keeping up with Georgie Boy best, and he's no slow coach. So that's positive signs so far for the left-back performance. Nice, decent bit of passing as well inside to Kapuwe. There is so much space, lads. So much space. Bakayo Saka dancing in. Into Fakia. Got a ball. Got a ball. We'll take the corner. Akuna's on the short. Let's play it to him, lads. A little dink in now. That's beautiful. We tell you what, he's gone down. It should be a penalty. We've been annihilated. But uh, Ferdinand comes close. Oh, Fakia. It has to be, lads. Green time finish. And we're 1-0 up, boys. I'm not going to lie to you. I expected a pretty sweaty opponent here. His team's insane, but we're getting the better of him at the moment. Oh, boys. No movement. I couldn't swap players. And Pele gets a goal. It's as easy as that for the man. Saka, that is top tier, lad. Top tier for you. Fakia. <laughs> what is going on? What a tackle. No nonsense. Sit him down. Lovely stuff. Not from the corner though, boys. Come on. Get it out. So one all at half time. This game is pure chaos. My opponent's constant pressure in my face non-stop. It is relentless. But Akuna's kept in a decent stint so far at left back. Handling uh, George Best quite easily. Some nice little challenges in there. The jockeying feels fantastic. He's super smooth to kind of defend with. Decent impression so far. Breaking forward as well, the high, high work rates. He does feel quick. Not super quick like Alfonso Davies, who I normally use. But definitely noticeable a little pace increase on his team of the week. Oh, we've got players over, lads. We've got players over. Benz, that's beautiful for Kia. For Kia. <laughs> Second time lucky. 2-1. Let's be having it. Oh, 
What a ball. Kapue, good touch. Over the keeper. Happy days. There's the free one. Are we getting a quit? Come on. Let's be having it, lads. As soon as I kind of sort him out, knew he was constant pressure non-stop. The counter-attacks are pretty damn easy. Tough opponent, though. We get the W. Let's try out Akuna as that centre mid. So game number two. It's a pretty standard looking team. It's pretty damn crazy. A lot of big hitters in there, but let's mix it up. So in game, we're going to rock Akuna as that box-to-box -box left side of centre mid. Saka's going back as a left back and Diaby is coming on for a Campos. Let's give this a go. Test him out as that box-to-box -box centre mid. Saka should do a decent job at left back. He's got a little bit defensively about him, but let's just see how this goes, lads. How was that gone in there? This man is the king at time wasting for corners. He waits about 20 in-game seconds, calls the man over and tries to do a corner glitch. I swear that's all I've been defending for like the past 30 in-game minutes. It has been the most boring game of FIFA I think I've ever played, lads. So 1-0 down at halftime. I'm honestly close to falling asleep. I might just throw the kitchen sink at it. Go all out, non-stop press. If we lose, we lose. It might at least allow me to do something in this game. Akuna! Oh, he's only gonna done it. We're going ultra attacking. We get one chance. It falls to the man. And Marcus Akuna turns up 69 finishing. Who cares, lads? Who cares? He's found the back of the net. We're gonna play him here in a 4 a 3 2 1. I'm gonna stay ultra attacking. Honestly, don't care. Um, I'd rather do this than fall asleep playing FIFA. So come on, lads. See if we can uh, nick a cheeky winner here. Oh, yes. Benzie boy. 2-1. That goal was beautiful, man. I love doing the little dinks, waiting for the keeper to commit and kind of just uh, dainting it over the top of him. But just like that, lads. Ultra attack in the kitchen sink gets thrown and we turn this around. Now maybe my opponent might bring the ball forward. Akuna. Akuna in space. Diaby. 3-1. The boys, we move him forward. He gets a goal and an assist just like that. 3 1, happy days, lads. I'm not throwing this one away. I outright refuse. Lovely bit of play from the lads. Saka on the overlap. The man has legs. It's nice. Inside, Benz. Oh, Fakir's offside, isn't it? Kapuwe, Kapuwe, into Akuna. I don't care if we're getting sweaty, boys. 4-1, the man gets two in this one. Please, let's be having it. So two goals and one assist in the two matches. And I'm not going to lie to you, as a box-to-box centre mid, this man is everything I need. Honestly, it's so damn good. It's so nice to see him literally carrying my midfield up and down the pitch. Tracking back defensively, you're going to have no issues. And going forward... The finishing on the left foot, and as long as it's mainly on his uh, strong foot being his left, guys, you should be fine in the back of the net. Don't try anything ridiculous with the man outside the box. A finesse shot probably aren't your go-to there. But overall, as a box of a centre mid, I would 100% recommend it. Don't forget the shadow chem start to max up the pace and the defending. And checking his price now, 140k I spent on him. I can imagine he's going to drop a little bit. Because of the pace, people might think, oh, he's not that good. So if you can get him anywhere between about, I would say, 80 to 120k, it's a no-brainer, lads. If you're rocking a La Liga Santander team, get him in your club, lads. Play him as that box-to-box centre mid. Play him as a left-back. Both works absolutely fine. But yeah, big thumbs up for me. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy, please drop me a like on the video. And I'll be back soon with another player review. Take it easy.